Hi guys, my name is Luca Del Tongo. I'm a computer science student and um, in this tutorial I want to show you how to control your mouse cursor position using your face. This tutorial is based on an OpenCV C Sharp wrapper called MGUCV. I have downloaded it from the latest uh, SVN SourceForge repository and um, so let's see some code my solution is composed of a simple Win4 project and um, from your toolbox from my toolbox I have drag and drop a simple image box control over the surface of my Windows form and I've added a little button that uh, I show you later how what does it do so looking at our code behind I have declared a capture class a class used to grab frames from my webcam and two are cascade classifier one for face and one for my eyes the classifier for face is the standard I XML file that you can find also in the downloadable package of MGUCV while my eyes uh, classifier is inside the SVN version and you can find it inside your MGUCV OpenCV folder data our cascades here you can find a lot of other pre-trained classifier for doing other kind of detection I've used also an eyes classifier to enforce the detection of my face and to uh, remove um, some possible outliers so in the constructor of our Windows form we initialize our <coughs> our classes and we initialize our cascade classifier and we mm, attach an event handler to our application .idle event so in our event handler in our frame grabber method that is our event handler we mm, the first step involved in this code is to acquire a new frame we then uh, convert it to grayscale and we equalize this grayscale keyframe, keyframe to uh, improve our performance after that we <coughs> using, our, using our cascade classifier we detect um, our faces uh, in this demo uh, we assume that, that that's, there's only one face in our in our stream in our video and um, after that uh, as in a previous tutorial I have used a um, simple uh, metric uh, estimation of uh, the location of our eyes considering that uh, our eyes will be at the top part of our head after in this code we are defining a navigation area with a predefined width and uh, height. We define this rectangle navigation area and we draw it. After having draw our navigation ar area, we define the um, position of our cursor with this point class, and um, the position of our cursor is uh, relative to the correct position of the face that is detected um, with our cascade classifier the position of our cursor is independent from our eyes rect that uh, we will see later and so the detection of our eyes is used only to enforce the um, detection of our face here we draw our face if and only if we uh, <coughs> have found a face and a pair of eyes and so um, 
we are drawing in this line our rectangle and uh, our rectangleize and our uh, rectangleize uh, estimation and um, here in this block of code we are checking that our cursor position is inside our navigation area area and um, here we compute after this check our uh, new x and y coordinates and uh, set our uh, cursor position to point to the new x y coordinate calculated and um, x and uh, y co coordinate are calculated using um, a simple scale based on our uh, frame width and frame height. After that we bind our frame to our image box frame punto image and um, let's see our demo to see how the things works so I will launch my simple application as you can see there is a yellow rectangle around my face this is detected thanks to our cascade classifier inside this yellow rectangle there are two other rectangles one the, yeah, the um, pinkish one is the estimation eye search area and the green one is the real eyes area detected by the eyes cascade classifier as you can see um, there, are, oh, there, are, oh, there is also a um, navigation area and this is draw with a white rectangle so I'll start moving my face and as you can see my cursor position is going left and right or up and down so I'm moving my cursor position using only my face now I will show you my hand to justify the fact that I'm using only my face as you can see when I leave the white rectangle you don't see the cursor the white dot cursor so let's try to click this button as you can see our cursor position is not so stable due to the uh, difference and to the not stability of our face detection okay perfect I have clicked my button so I hope you like this uh, tutorial as you can see all a few uh, lines of code are required to do this but um, you can further refine this code to achieve a um, better result as for example the stability of our cursor position I hope you like it